Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. As a recording of this, it is seven years to the day where you and I met. Yeah. At the train station on Main Street USA mm -hmm. at Disneyland as a recording of this Thursday, May 12th, 2022. <laughs> I am returning for the first time in 2022 to Disneyland. We're also going to park hop to DCA. You recently became an annual pass holder. Yeah. Again, you've been back this year. Once or twice? Just once. This will be our first time going into the park together yeah. in 22, and it's a little bit of a celebration of sorts of yeah. us meeting, and that we you know, just in passing, but then about a year later, we started to become really good friends and have been really good friends ever since. So we're gonna have a little, a little fun day, Yay. park hopping, eating some food, doing some of the quintessential things. All the Disney stuff. <laughs> and there's a couple of nighttime, what nighttime events are back? Disney and Forever Fireworks. I'm so excited. <laughs> we, were talk, we were talking on the way from the parking structure over that for me, 2000, late 2015, early 2016 is my the best time I've ever had. It was the best, yeah. So that is good that the Disneyland Forever fireworks are back. And me, nostalgic at Disney World, the electric light parade, which was over there and here, they have brought that back as well. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. And also I think Paint the Night, not Paint the, Paint the Night's not back. I wish Paint the Night was back. Mm -hmm. Over at DCA, they are doing World of Color. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to be able to work that in because it might be in the same time frame as the fireworks. And True. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll see where the day leads us. We have no <laughs> real rhyme or reason. Mint Julep is on my on my list as Ooh, well. I'm going to get a chimichanga. And you made a reservation. Chimichanga? <gasps> yeah. Chimichanga is more of a nighttime thing, walking around kind of like just like nibbling on the chimichanga. Yeah. Which is right next to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Yeah. We, we might best remove them. Oh, you know best where we remove park them. With Dad? <laughs> and you made a reservation for a food place. Yeah. Where are we eating at? Cafe Orleans. I feel like we've gone the past like three times, so it's kind of like a mini tradition now. It's a tradition. tradition. Okay, join me and Daphne <laughs> as we go into Disneyland. Cal you? <laughs> and opted not to take the tram to going through the downtown Disney entrance, and they have torn down the theater over here since last time. A lot of changes are happening at the downtown Disney district. Wow, a lot of changes. Walking in at 11.30 a.m. and this beautiful train parked here in front of the Disneyland Railroad, Disney World, train is not because they're building Tron, so the train has not been running. And it just reminds me, I want to ride on the train. That's some time with the clock, 11.30. The park is open till late tonight, till midnight. I don't know if we're gonna stick around till midnight, but definitely gonna stay late till after dark. And there's Topiary Mickey, always good to see. Topiary Mickey. West Coast, Topiary Mickey. It's been so long since I've been here, I, I really kept kind of spoiler free on what's even going on, like what's open, what's closed, what's under construction. Yeah. I'm just, I feel like I've been in Magic Kingdom so many times, it's like a whole new do world. Do you feel like a newbie again? I do, I kind of do. <laughs> even the here you leave today, enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy placards are different here. This is the, the old version, not the new school version in Florida. Now you and I both know our way around here very well, but we are going to get this guide map just because, you know, just, just for posterity, and I definitely want to go. Uh, somebody just a little sneak. Mr. Toad's <laughs> Wow, walking in here really is kind of surreal in a way. Kind of surreal. Reminds me of the old days. And first stop, Fantasyland going directly through the castle. Sleeping Beauty Castle, not Cinderella's. And I'm always happy to see J. Thaddeus Toad Esquire, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, one of my personal favorites, and something that they got rid of over at Magic Kingdom in Florida. They replaced it with Winnie the Pooh many, many, a couple decades ago. So this is about the only place you can see J. Thaddeus and all his his wild adventures in the car. He's, a, he's not the best driver ever. Oh, it's a train! Oh, oh, oh! Did we make it? Oh, we did make it. We're in Haiti. West Coast Figment. West Coast Figment. Now going down Big Thunder Trail. And I can hear Big Thunder Mountain Railroad off to the side. In fact, right over there. And if the wait time's not too bad, I might best remove them. Best remove them. And take a look up there. The Disneyland Railroad going by. That's the entrance into Galaxy's Edge. It's not going to go in there quite yet. Yeah. I'm excited about going on the, doing the Grand Circle Tour around the park. That's going to be us soon. <laughs> yeah, it's safe to say the crowds are back here. It was not like this last year. It is busy. All right, the line for Big Thunder was pretty lengthy. We're going to wait till later. We're going to go on the Disneyland Railroad right now. 
It was an hour for Big Thunder. About to take the Grand Circle Tour. The Grand Tour. The Grand Circle. I remember when the parks reopened, or no, the parks, before the parks reopened, they were doing some sort of construction on the train and it just sat here for like a year and a half. It was oh, like it was a when they, or something. They were redoing the one segment over there. Oh yeah, they were building the bridge. For Galaxy's Edge and rerouting the bridge. That's what it was. It was now not Now it turns left for the first time or something like that? Yeah, they shortened it just a little bit. The train used to go right where the cantina is now. The train tracks kind of went, no, no, no. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Droid Depot, that's where the train used to go, if I remember correctly. Don't listen to anything I say, I'm just spouting off. And getting a little bit of, look at this, they're, they're putting the water in there, that gives the steam from the steam tray train here from this water tower. This is a really cool how they expanded all this a few years ago. It looks pretty dang awesome. I wonder if the smoke, the, the cabin over there has a smoke. Oh, they do. I see the fire coming out of the top of the chimney. There. Before the end of the evening, you will be mine, Big Thunder. You will be my West Coast edition, Big Thunder. Oh, yes. The monorail is running past the Matterhorn. That is a thing of beauty. I never realized they have coffee. I had a piping hot caffeinated beverage over at Maurice's Treats. I never knew they sold it over here. I filed this one under things I've never done before. We are in the Royal Theater. I'm so excited. About to ready to watch a Tangled show. And welcome to the Royal Theater. To help us on our story today, we have two special guests. Two special guests? Yes. Who's on first? A young lady with golden locks. Who wants her three dancing bears? I'm just getting a bit run down. Why don't you let me brush your hair when Mr. Smythe sings your magic song? <laughs> <laughs> I need him to take me to see the Don't tell you Have a dream. <laughs> I had a dream. Yeah, I have to admit, I really like the Tangled show. Kind of how they put their own little spin on it, like the movie. Also, now it's time for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Your best removal. And it was a good thing that we waited because originally it was 50 minutes. We did the Tangled show, and now it's 20 minute wait for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And I'm timing it perfectly because I think going through the dinosaur bones over here should be. Oh, great! <laughs> it's like the Twilight Zone, it's on the complete opposite side of what I am now used to in Florida. Timing, the Mark Twain is pulling into port. We're gonna go do a ferry boat ride around the rivers of America. Always nice to cruise along the rivers of America. And you can see the Pirates over there is down. They're doing quite a bit of construction, construction walls around in New Orleans Square. Oh, watch out down there, geese, goose, gooses, geeses. Watch out down there. Also, the floats going over to Tom Sawyer Island. It's a little deceiving because there's walls here, but I think the Haunted Mansion store is still tucked away back over in there. So if you follow this around, also Blue Bayou is closed. But if you continue around, the Haunted Mansion store is back in there, right around this very corner, right? That's like a little secret passageway. And Fortune Red is over here as well. Right here, you can put a couple, or actually put 25 cents in, Fortune Red will tell you your fortune. I don't know if I have a quarter on it. I'm kind of curious if you can use the Play app and see if it says I'm here. 
Yeah, it does work with the app. You don't even have to put a quarter in. Just use the app. We got, look at this. You don't even have to use a quarter. You just, you just use the app. That's the one you chose. There is just so much construction going out here in New Orleans Square. Of course, you got pirates here. And then you got a tree house up here. Is it still gonna be, is it gonna go back to Swiss Family Robinson tree house? Or is it gonna stay Tarzan tree house? And what the heck are they doing? to Pirates of the Caribbean. It really does look like they're doing a heck of a lot of work up there to the tree out. And I also have to wonder, will the Jabba the Hutt little Easter egg that used to be right here, will that be removed? Yeah, there was like a, an inscription in the in the rock work that looked like Jabba, right? Definitely a retheming is happening. I wouldn't have all the scaffolding if it wasn't a, an overload. The stairs were used to be right there, going up. Time will tell. Okay, at our table at Cafe Orleans, they have quite a bit on here on the menu. Something called small bites, they have entrees, they have sweets. Looks like they have a create your own meal up here with entrees, market vegetables, seasoned fruits, jasmine rice, they have beverages as well, and unlimited mint juleps, which I think I'm gonna get, I'll probably get a water and have one or two mint juleps, which saves me waiting in line in New Orleans Square on the other side as well so that's that's kind of anything on there that's kind of that's striking your fancy everything everything, <laughs> is everything is striking your fancy they have a house made white bean hummus i'm kind of leaning towards the shrimp pasta and maybe a cup of gumbo but though they have oh the monte cristo is like the famous one yeah they have uh they have the brie swiss and mozzarella monte cristo and i think they have one with like ham oh here it is sliced turkey ham and swiss and we ate here back in August. What year was that? It was your birthday one year. 2018. 2018 on your birthday. We came to Disneyland and we ate here at Cafe Orland. So yeah, it's kind of a tradition. Yeah. A lot of traditions we've had here. And the beverages have arrived equipped with paper straws. This is not lemonade. This is a mint julep with a little minty flavor. And you went with, uh, was that unsweet tea? Yeah. Unsweet lemonade. Always unsweet. All right, it's mint julep time. You want to do a cheers? A cheers with the... Cheers! <laughs> There's such good iced tea here. Is it good? It's like top tier iced tea. Uh, a little appetizer here. This is the gumbo, a little spicy gumbo with rice and the little... What's the, what's the items they call it? The little Chives. Chives. Sour cream and chive potatoes I'm used to. But it looks different on gumbo, so I like, kind of drew a blank on that. And we could share it because we got two spoons here and a refill on my mint julep. This is gonna be my last mint julep though. I don't want to do an overload of mint juleps and I'm gonna go into the into the water. But gotta go with, you know, it's unlimited mint julep, so why not? Yeah. All right, it's gumbo time. And the entree has, a, did I call the last thing an entree or an appetizer? I meant to say appetizer if I said entree. This is shrimp and pasta and cheese all make this these shrimp are pretty decent size what'd you get monte cristo you went with the monte cristo and the fritz 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 they look like bigger what oh, they do look bigger than a lot last time they were like small yeah fritz are like usually tiny like, fries. Sh like shoestring kind of fries yeah these are more like steak fries yeah and what what is on those you know what kind of flavoring that seasoning that is garlic that is garlic. Is there some cheese on there? And Parmesan? Parmesan cheese. And some dipping sauce. And you went with the ham. I did. So you opted up. Cheese is good, but you add a little bit of ham in there too. Yeah. And with the little sugary goodness peppered on. Well, it's not pepper. It's like peppered on. And they, they, pep they peppered on the, the stuff on top of here, the cheese on top of here too. Yeah. So a little cheers. 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 Well, the plate's so heavy. Oh man, I love shrimp. I haven't had this meal here before. Hello, Captain Jack. Good to see you. I spelled what wrong? Cannon. Oh, my my camera that I'm using. I do believe it's three ends. Okay, three ends. That's how you spell my camera? With three ends? Cannon. Cannon, gotcha. Okay, I'll change it. I'll take a Sharpie and write on there, change it. It won't work? Something sharp with a knife. Something sharp E. Something more permanent. <laughs> Good to see you, Captain Jack. Wow, walking through Adventureland. It is really busy through here. Not a lot of elbow room. Alright, a little park hopping now, heading into DCA. 
and classic car alert right here underneath Oswald's gas station. And I'm making my way down Hollywood Boulevard over to one of my favorite attractions here at DCA, Monsters, Inc. Oh, monorail going by up there. Monorail going by. They scare because they care. A sign says to the taxis, race you to the scare floor. Where's Drew Carey? Mr. Carey. And another monorail going by. Good thing we just went on this because it now went down again. Ah, the glorious Ferris wheel off in the distance over there. Circling around Mickey's Fun Wheel. It used to be called Mickey's Fun Wheel. Now I think it's called Pixar Pal around over at Pixar Pier. Okay, this is pretty cool because we went to the Palace of Fine Arts in, in San Francisco. I was in San Diego. San Francisco, <laughs> and he took me there, and this is it. And also the Embarcadero as well, which doesn't look anything like the real Embarcadero <laughs> at all. Way are these, prettier. Are these supposed to be the paint, the painted ladies? No, kind of, sort of. Just house. They're just the bay windows, just the classic. Just, just the classic bay windows. Nice. I don't know if today is really the day to go on a water ride. <laughs> You're not dressed accordingly for a water ride. You're not <laughs> Eureka! Golden Timber Company. I always like this really large bear right here wearing a life vest. Can't be too careful, bear. And a lantern in case it gets in case nightfall rears its head. Turn the lantern on. This bear will be protected. Look how tall it is. Very tall. Very, very tall. This thing's like probably 15, at least 15. You can say it's very tall. It's very, <laughs> very tall. And now walking up to Carthay Circle and probably back over to Disneyland. All right, made it in now over to the wishing well here where people have cast some coins and there's even a dollar bill down in there next to the Snow White Fountain. And there's Snow White up top there with all the dwarfs all around. There's a frog down there. Oh, can you? Yeah, see? Oh, the rainbow in the water? Yeah. I never realized till now that you could see the Matterhorn through those trees. Oh, no. Holy cow, I never realized that. I just learned something new and saw something new. And you can see the rainbow bouncing off the water. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, there's a bird. That bird is wishing making a wish. And this is so interesting walking into this entrance of Batu West, not Batu East. Because over in Florida, this is all closed off. You cannot go in from this entrance over to Kylo's ship. Get back. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, sir. And it's not happening tonight, but soon, by the end of the month, they are bringing Phantasmic back and they'll have the characters loaded on this. That's pretty cool. Hope, hopefully Fantasmic comes back to WDW soon. It's not every day you see a riverboat going past the Star Wars universe over there in the distance, kind of disguised by the foliage. But that is Black Sapphire Outpost off in the distance. I love the rivers of America. And the person behind me is not too content with it. I feel like the rivers of the world. <laughs> and Winnie the Pooh has just broken down. We went over here because it was 25 minutes, but the ride has just broken down. So, sad trombone moment. Oh, perfect timing though, with the train going by, giving a little whistle as it goes by, everyone waving. It's almost magic hour. Not quite magic hour, but pretty close to magic hour with the sun about to set. But just look at the congregation of people that are over there. We had an idea. This is one of the shortest wait times in the park, but you know, obviously it just went down. So a little evac is happening. And there goes the lily bell across. And there goes a monorail zooming by right now. We've got in line for Small World. This is about a 20 minute wait. Also a while before getting on Small World, there's a, a unique moment with the evil queen and Mulan kind of doing circles and spins over here in the, the stuff like And since this new lightning lane, some of the standby queues, I'm not, I didn't do lightning lane today, but some of these standby queues take me to areas I've never been in in the queue lines before way back here. And the train's going by right there on the other side of that edge. And the sun is starting, look at the sunburst there, starting to set over there on the horizon. I also never noticed these lamps before over here. When you think of Small World, it's definitely a quintessential ride as far as an attraction at Disneyland. It's just one of those ones that you have to go on because it truly is a small world after all. No matter where you are, anyone you meet, they always kind of have something in common with them, making you think that it really is a small world after all. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears, a world of... I'm trying to remember all the names. You remember, the, remember how it all goes? It's a world of laughter, a world of tears, it's a world of hope, 
and a world for all the fears because it truly is a small world. I think I screwed that up. You know how small it is though? How small the world is? Yeah. It is the circumference of the earth mileage wise I do not know off the top of my head do you? No, no because when I wrote small world here and you wrote a small world there it really was a small world. That's true. <laughs> So recently, you were out here, and you wrote a small world, and I was at Magic Kingdom a small world, and we got a hold of each other, and we sent each other pictures from each of the small worlds back and forth, and now we're both writing small worlds together. This is like, it's kind of like a, it's, it's a moment. It is a moment. And I went down to Main Street and stepped inside the Emporium, trying to find something, just kind of, kind of cool down a little bit. I kind of like this. I didn't bring a jacket with me, and I've been on the lookout for another Disney type of jacket. This is kind of neat. It's like a spirit jersey of sorts. Did you find anything that you might end up getting? Yeah, I like this mini one. It has mini ears on the back for a hoodie. Yeah, the temperature dropped a lot. Now the sun's starting to go down. Yeah, when we got out of Small World, I was like, oh. I kind of like this, but I don't know. And I decided not to get my option. I was also kind of noticing these mannequins. I love the mannequins that are up here all kind of scattered around. There's even some more up there. Up there, this is above the tailoring section. But I opted out of the spirit jersey style. That is so dang cute right there. An Elliot plush. This is really cute. From the Electric Light Parade. They have some good merchandise. Okay, we just received word that they are not doing. This was, this was our expression on our face when we realized, that's what we, we realized they are not doing the Disneyland Forever fireworks tonight, only on the weekends. So we're a little, little disappointed because that was the whole, kind of the whole point, but we should have planned it a little bit better and done a little bit more research. But they are, good news is, they are doing World of Color, so we're gonna go park up over to DCA, watch that, and then come back. But we still feel like this on the inside, but World of Color is good too. We wanted to watch World of Color, so now we're gonna go watch World of Color. But dang, if you're gonna come out here to watch Disneyland Forever, do it on a weekend, or you'll feel like this on the inside. It's about a half hour to World of Color. We had this idea to go over and maybe try to get onto Incredicoaster, the former California Screamin', and realize that because of World of Color, they shut this down too, so did, that's not where it'll work out as well. And now park hopping back over into Disneyland. A lot of people are leaving DCA and heading back over to Disneyland. Okay, walking away from Matterhorn, you can hear Harold the Yeti up there. We were gonna go on that. It said 35 minutes, but both of us, by looking at the line, we kind of, it almost seemed like it was gonna be more like an hour wait. Yeah, anytime it stretches outside the queue, the <laughs> So we just decided we're gonna pass on that. So we're just gonna kind of wander around. Cause if we got on that, we would not be able, we would be in the line or on the attraction when the electric light parade happens. And we don't want to miss something else we're waiting for, so. We'll have to come back and say hi to Harold. What'd you say? Another time. We'll be back for both pass holders. Yeah, we'll I keep forgetting one. about pass holders. Yeah, we don't have to get everything done in one day. We have procured a spot here, top of the train station. And I can't remember if the parade starts earlier in the day over here and makes its way to Small World or starts in Small World and ends over here, or which direction it's gonna come out. Is it gonna go out of Small World? If it does, it's gonna take 10 minutes to get down Main Street. It comes out of here, we'll be seeing it very, very shortly. And also this spot here next to the baggage claim sign is where we first met seven years ago and got our picture. We got a picture seven years ago here and we got a picture today to celebrate the seven years. And we're kind of standing or actually we're sitting right here against this little planter in the same area. And there's a photo from seven years ago today. And now show the photo, <laughs> show the photo from today, earlier. My hair's on my mouth open. There it is. We did it. And also not only is the Electrical Light Parade back, but it's also the 50th anniversary, five decades of this historic parade. And we were correct in standing from this position where instead of having to wait another 10 minutes for it to go from Small World back, we kind of played the odds and by standing here at the train station, able to see it pulling out of the front portion of the park, so we'd have to wait that long as it as it completely went by. What did you think of the what did you think of the electric light parade? I thought that there was just floats <laughs> and well like I didn't know that there were princesses and characters yeah so I didn't realize that I thought there was just floats but that turtle with the hat on I would lay down in my life for him <laughs> he was so cute his little hat I love him now some of these they have popcorn buckets for which sold out almost immediately 
And you were saying that you read online that they weren't even going to go on sale for like months from now. Like they were sold out for like a long time. Yeah, till summer is what they posted. So you could get a popcorn bucket of... And the zipper. You can get the, the popcorn zipper. bucket of the... I was going to say Figment. <laughs> of some of, it'd be great if, there was, if Figment had a, a one in here. Maybe at some point, because it seems like this retires and then comes back, maybe they put a Figment float in here at some point. Probably not. When are they ever, when is this thing going to be fully retired? It's been fully retired so many times. It'd be like Battle of the Dragons. Battle of the, <laughs> yeah, speaking of dragons, probably one of my favorite floats is the Elliot float from Peach Dragon, where Pete is on top and Elliot is like, has smoke coming out of his nostrils which is pretty awesome. And then at the very end, there used to be an American flag float. That has been changed, and now it is just a mishmash of Elsa's a bunch of characters. It. Yeah, <laughs> Elsa was on there, and a bunch, of, a bunch of other characters are on there as well. And at the very end, there's the castle that looks, and it looks a lot like Small World. That was pretty neat. I don't remember that from the, the older version. So it's the 50th anniversary 95% of it's the 50th anniversary, and then the back end 5% is new. So you can't really classify that as the 50th anniversary of the last 5%. Kind of yeah. kind of confusing. But really good. I liked it. Yeah. And it's a, there was a lot less people, still very busy at this time of the night, but a lot less people for the second parade. And we got a pretty good view from the train station looking down, which is a great spot to watch it. And that's going to do it for today. We did it. We did it. We did not get as much accomplished as we thought we were going to get because this is kind of the seven year. It's been seven years since we met at the train station. Yeah. Things have changed in the park crowd wise. <gasps> yeah, a lot. Lightning lane, a lot of that. Yeah. It was way busier than I thought it was going to be for Thursday. That was wild. It was very busy. We did not get on as many attractions and rides as we thought we would. And we were going to get some food items at the end of the night, and those food items had closed up at like 8 o'clock. Till next time, Chimichanga. Chimichangas will await. We both have annual passes, where well, they're called Dream Keys now. Yeah. So maybe we'll stop back in another time. Hopefully on the weekend so that we can see Disneyland forever. Yeah. Dang. Nonetheless, though, it was pretty fun. I did, I did some things I'd never done before, like watch the Tangled yeah. play. What else did I do that I hadn't done? We saw Jack Sparrow today. We saw a lot of characters today. A lot of characters. Really cool. And we popped into Avengers Campus. I didn't really film. There was some stuff I did not film. Went into Avengers Campus. A lot of characters in there. So many. Yeah. Yeah. It was so cool. All right. It was a fun day. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. Happy seven year friendship. Happy seven years. The it's, vlog. What's that? I'm excited. It's exciting. Where has the time gone? Find the time. <laughs> I just can't find it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Back at the parking structure now, just to show how far you have to park over here at the Pixar Pals parking structure from where World of Color was earlier. It's a hike. Way over there.